Israel released a video set to show its troops entering Gaza's biggest hospital, Al Shifa, on Wednesday. It says Hamas fighters have the beating heart of their operations in a headquarters in tunnels beneath it, and that troops uncovered unspecified weapons and terror infrastructure inside the hospital compound after killing fighters in a clash outside. Hamas denies this. The Israeli army also said there had been no fighting and no friction with civilians, patients or staff. This video, released by the Gaza Health Ministry on Wednesday, but shot in previous days, is said to show the aftermath of a recent Israeli strike on the hospital. Medics are seen trying to evacuate patients from a ward hit by shelling. It also shows the premature babies that Gaza's health ministry now says are being transferred from their incubators to another area in the hospital that still had some electricity. Martin Griffiths is the UNA chief. I understand the Israelis' concern for trying to find the leadership of Hamas. That's not our problem. Our problem is protecting the people of Gaza from what's been visited upon them. Gaza officials say many patients, including three newborn babies, died in recent days as a result of Israel's encirclement of the facility. Staff are without power to operate basic medical equipment. The, the other... Dr. Ahmed El Mokhalalati spoke to Reuters by phone from inside the hospital. Gunshots could be heard in the background. He said staff were hiding as fighting unfolded outside the hospital overnight and that the Israelis had targeted the hospital directly. But again, it's totally a scary situation. Complex and sensitive. Israeli army spokesperson Daniel Hagari said the army has facilitated wide scale evacuation of the hospital. IDF forces are carrying out a precise and targeted operation against Hamas in a specified area in the Shifa hospital. Israel had given Hamas a 12-hour deadline to stop military activity in the hospital. It said, unfortunately, it did not. This video released by the Israeli army was said to show medical supplies being brought in for those inside. The United States said on Tuesday that its own intelligence supported Israel's conclusions about the presence of a Hamas headquarters at Al Shifa. Izet El Rashek, member of the Hamas political office and media officer, said in a video by the militant group that makes American President Biden a full participant of this occupation and this crime. Israel launched its campaign to annihilate Hamas after it rampaged through Israeli towns on October 7th. About 1,200 people were killed, according to Israel. Since then, Israel has put Gaza under siege. Gaza health officials say more than 11,000 Palestinians are confirmed killed.